You may not know the name Melissa Reed, but this young golfer has already made headlines. Not only was she voted in the top 50 golf babes of the world, but she also survived a snake bite while playing in China. More importantly, she's ranked in the top three golfers in Europe, thanks to a victory at the Turkish Open last year. Yeah, it was uh, my first breakthrough win, so that was nice. Um, and yeah, it was a very consistent year. Um, the two people that beat me on the money list won five times each, so to finish third was nice, but hopefully this year we'll win a few more tournaments. I think the amount of times I shot under par, you know, I was very happy with. Um, I felt that most tournaments I was under par, except for the occasional few, but um, I just think generally my consistency, and, and I just felt like I was improving all the way throughout the year, which was nice. I've played a few majors in the States. I played uh, the Crafton Bisco last year, and obviously Q-School and things like that, but I haven't, I haven't played many LPGA events out there. Um, I'm trying to, I just can't, I can't seem to get my foot in the door really, but um, the American events are obviously very well run, they have a lot more money, and um, obviously the better players are playing on the LPGA, so it's certainly where I want to be, but, um, but I love Europe and I love playing in, in European tour events, and it's, um, it's such a great tour to be part of. Having amassed half a million dollars last year, Reid is the new star of English golf, but she still sees herself as second fiddle to Laura Davies. Laura's huge. I mean, I think I don't think she gets enough credit for what she's done for women's golf in general. She's one of the reasons why I took up the game. Um, you know, she, from a young age, she interested me, and, you know, everyone loves to, to watch Laura because the way she plays golf is so natural, and it really is brilliant, and I love playing with her, and it's just really cool now that we, you know, can play together quite a lot, and, um, but yeah, no, she's, she's wicked. She's a good girl. Away from the course, Melissa is a huge sports fan, following her national cricket and rugby teams with pride, and more importantly, her local football club. Derby County, which is slightly embarrassing because they're not doing very well at the minute. But, um, but yeah, no, I'm, a, I'm from Derby, so I'm a home, home supporter. And what about the cricket and rugby World Cups? England are playing pretty well in the cricket, so hopefully we can win, win that one. Um, Rugby-wise, I don't know. I think New Zealand are going to be tough to beat. Um, they've never won a World Cup, have they? 87. Oh, 87, right, the year I was born.